Rising temperatures are causing concerns for athletes competing outdoors. Now school districts are taking matters into their own hands. 27 News reporter Max Dutton explains the heat safety process for local schools. Colin McLean is one of the fastest runners in the country. He's a state champion, multi-time national qualifier, and he routinely logs over 90 miles a week. But even Colin says his biggest competitor may be the heat. I'll go to basically any measure to avoid it because there's some mornings that, you know, by 7 a.m. you're, you're going to be cooking out there. Colin recalling his first run he ever had in Topeka. He got off to a hot start. It was hot, hilly, sun was beating down on me. I made it like maybe 50% of my planned run and had to walk it back in. It was just like the walk of shame the rest of the way because I felt terrible. If I would have tried to keep running, I think I would have been on the side of the road for someone to come pick me up. For Keisha Sports, one device controls everyone's destiny. It's called the wet bulb temperature meter. This reading factors in a lot of different things, temperature, uh, wind, cloud cover, um, and all those things are factored into this device that we use to take every day. The reading then follows this sheet released by Keisha. The darker the color, the worse the conditions are. Today's reading landed in black. So if we get a high enough reading, there might be some different measures that we're going to have to take with practices and competitions. Cue this tweet. Topeka High making the call to stay inside. A local pharmacist agrees with their decision. It is very serious, um, especially for these athletes. Um, and looking at, you know, you go from dehydration to heat exhaustion to a heat stroke, and that can be life-threatening. 